towards. dramatic east coast of Scotland. Perfect terrain for Lynx Golf. And there are few better courses than Muirfield and North Berwick, which jointly played host to the 125th anniversary Amateur Championship. The event is one of the most historic, the title one of the most coveted. Down the coast, to the east of Scotland's capital, Edinburgh, Muirfield's been the venue for multiple Opens, with Gary Player, Jack Nicholas, Lee Trevino and Ernie Els among the champions produced. It's one of the world's premier courses, while North Berwick, a near neighbour, is a pure joy. This will be the twelfth occasion that Muirfield, home of the Honourable Company of Edinburgh Golfers, has welcomed the Amateur Championship. Of the 288 starters in stroke play, 73 made it through to the knockout match play phase. Surprisingly missing out, though, was American Jonathan Randolph, fourth in the RNA World Amateur Golf Rankings. Now the door to the quarterfinals was ajar, and with the weather still set fair, Zhang walked through, battling to a hard-fought win over Tom Lewis from Welling Garden City, hometown of the 1987 and 1992 Open Champion at Muirfield, Sir Nick Faldo. His putt conceded on the 18th green, Zhang won, one up. And the Scottish galleries, both enthusiastic and sizeable, were pleased to see James Byrne from Bankery go through as well. The student from Arizona State University closed out his 2-1 victory over Alex Christie by cozying that putt to the hole on the 17th. It meant a personal best in the amateur championship. Last year, obviously, I got to 16, so it's, it's good to get a step further. Uh, I've played really solid golf so far, so I'm hopeful I can uh, keep pushing on. Completing the quarterfinal lineup was Chris Paisley, who came through yet another tense encounter to deny Billy Hemstock at the 19th. For the octet still standing in the 125th anniversary amateur championship, it was time to start dreaming under the Scottish sun. Receiving most support for entirely understandable reasons, Scotland's own James Byrne tried to supply the last piece in the semi-final jigsaw by overcoming Eduardo Espana. On the 17th green, Espana won down, badly needed to hole his birdie putt. When he didn't, Byrne had a golden chance to complete a two-and-one victory. Yeah. The amateur championship has a grueling schedule, but 21-year-old Byrne is not lacking energy. Uh, I should have about an hour and a half off, maybe an hour, and uh, I think I've got Chris Paisley next. I've never played him before, but good player. Um, I know he put the World Cup last year, so he'll be tough, tough opposition, definitely. Progressing from the quarterfinals, it's Nixon against Young, while Paisley will try to block Burns' path to the first triumph by a Scot in the Amateur Championship since Stuart Wilson came good at St Andrews in 2004. A total of 288 players began. Now only four remain, with Matthew Nixon, Chris Paisley and James Byrne, two victories away from becoming the first British winner for six years. Standing in their way, South Korea's Jin Jiong. He's a machine. <laughs> um, yeah, it did feel like snapping his putter out there, but he's, he's a great player. He's played, you know, that was a great display of golf he's played um, this afternoon in some, you know, pretty testing conditions. and. All the best to him. I mean, he's going to be a very tough man to beat. 
But who would the machine face in the 36-hole final? Would it be James Byrne from ASU in Phoenix or Chris Paisley, who graduated from the University of Tennessee last year? It was the most important round in the life of both players. I can tell you Paisley was one up through seven. They were all square at the turn. Byrne was one up for the first time on the 10th, and this to double his lead. Two up through 13. Byrne and Paisley halved the 14th. Paisley had to toil for a par and a half at the next. Objective achieved, but he remains two down. And Byrne had a potentially decisive birdie putt on the par 3 16th. The line was perfect, just not quite enough pace. Paisley to remain in it, just about. And so the match goes to the penultimate hole, the historic 17th, par 5. So much has happened on this hole over the years, John. And here's another classic case, third shot, two big hits here for James Byrne into the pot bunker. Revetted face, he's got to get the ball up quickly. Two up though with two to play, it's a nice position to be in. Staring at, obviously, his first final, one match away from the Open Championship, the Masters, the prestige that comes with it, Walker Cup, everything. Has he nipped that? He played it absolutely beautifully. Thought it would swing in more from the right-hand side. Whenever I think of the 17th, always comes to mind Trevino's chipping to effectively deny Tony Jacklin in the 72 Open Championship. Chris Paisley requires something equally miraculous. If this is hold, it's over. He's giving it a firm wrap. Steady. Well, it's not quite dead. And so more than a glimmer of hope for Paisley. And John, you have to think that hope has been pretty much extinguished. Yeah, absolutely. James Byrne now with a two and a half footer to seal victory. Yes, two and one. Paisley dejected, but also magnanimous in defeat. Yeah, I played really well. Didn't hold as many footers this morning, but uh, I think James deserved it. He didn't put a foot wrong um, once he got up. You know, some people might have cracked under the pressure a bit, you know, because I was hitting good shots, but no, he, he didn't do anything wrong, so he, he earned it. Let's find out a little more about the amateur championship finalists. My name is James Byrne. My name is Gene Jung. I am 21 years old. I'm 20. I am from Bankery, Scotland. From South Korea. My handicap is plus five. My handicap is plus five. Best part of my game is driving. My best thing is putting. Worst part of my game is <laughs> My hero in golf is Tiger Woods. My favorite golfer is Tiger Woods. When I play stroke play, I really wanted um, getting to match play. That was my goal. <laughs> and um, when I went into match play, I'm thinking about, you know, just win this tournament. I had my mind on the final when I, when I came into the week, but I didn't really, really expect to get this far. Uh, I thought I needed a bit of luck, but I played absolutely brilliant today and uh, just can't wait for tomorrow. I've been dreaming to playing British Open since I started playing golf. Um, and I realized if I win British Amara, then I can get into British Open. This is obviously the highlight of my summer, and uh, you know, I've been gearing towards this tournament. Um, you know, I've been working hard, so to have all the hard work pay off would be, would be excellent. I've been nervous for all week, like very nervous. but. I've been playing quite well for all, all week, and um, I'm really excited for tomorrow, very, very looking forward to it. And so is everyone here at Muirfield.